from the celebrity capital of the world, it's Hollywood Squares, starring the return of Madam, Donna Summer, Stone Cold Steve Austin, comedian Lonnie Love, Mario Lopez, Kathy Griffin, Joey McIntyre, Daisy Fuentes, and our center square, Martin Moe. We got the best of the worst place. We want to come tonight. I'm going to host the Hollywood Square. And your host, Tom Bergeron. Thank you, John. Welcome to Hollywood Square. Give yourselves a hand. You're a fine group of clappers and smilers in the audience. <laughs> And welcome back to Martin and the gang. Now, we left uh, you yesterday. At the very end of the show, we were in the first game of our best uh, two out of three match. And the board looked remarkably like this. All right. And uh, our two contestants, Tom Sheck, Mr. X, and returning champion Sabina Schaefer, were pitted in a tic-tac-toe tangle. Sabina, it was your turn, I believe. I'll go with Mario Lopez for the five-star win. All right, Mario Lopez, host of Animal Planet's Pet Star. Choke, check, choke your local cable listing. Don't choke your local cable listing. Just check them, all right? <laughs> Mario. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> five years after the end of the show, Who's the Boss? Kid Danny Pintoro grabbed headlines again in 1997 with what announcement? I think I remember this, Tom. Huh? He, um, he announced to the world, he was busting out of the closet announcing to the world that he was gay. All right. For the five square win. I agree. That is correct. He announced he was gay. Yes. Five square win and a thousand dollars. All righty. Into our next thousand dollar game. This one has a secret square. John, what's in the secret square stash? Maximize your workout at Valley Total Fitness. It hurts so good. You and a guest will each enjoy a three-year membership at any Valley Total Fitness or Valley Sports Club location. Valley Total Fitness is the leading provider of fitness services with over 380 locations nationwide. All righty, let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. <laughs> now you know. Uh, Sabina, you won the first game. You start. Martin Moe, please. Oh, oh, once again, the secret square. Well, visual help here. Susan Sarandon was nominated for an Oscar for the role she played in this film. Is it Lorenzo's Oil, Dead Man Walking, or The Client? Hmm. It's the one where obviously her hair's on fire. <laughs> it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and she's holding the lighter where she lit her own. <laughs> I'm going to go with the client here, because I right. think that guy looks like a client. Lord knows what yeah. she's selling. Okay. The client. I agree. It is the client. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sir, gets it. And the Valley Health Club membership. All right. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Good enough. Armageddon, by the way, pay-per-view December 14th. Just a few weeks away. Steve, who has a kung fu grip, a one-two punch, and a machete-slashing arm? My ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was one of them G.I. Joe guys. All right, G.I. Joe. I will agree. It is G.I. Joe, yeah. That's right. That's it. Sabina. I'll go with Kathy Griffin, please. Kathy Griffin, oh. appearing every Wednesday night at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. Kathy, true or false, you can get fined in Singapore, where you've already won a trip to, yeah. right? You can get fined in Singapore for not flushing the toilet. True or false? Yeah, it's very disturbing to hear, pull your pants up and step away from the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> On a bust in Singapore. No pot, Sabina. All right, um, <laughs> let's see. I would say Singapore, uh, this sounds like a trick question to me. I'm gonna say false. I disagree. It is true, you could get fined. So remember that when you take your trip. Circle gets the square. Madam for the block, please. Madam. All right, madam, here we go. All right, baby. In, in Cleopatra, madam, Elizabeth yes. Taylor is soaking in the royal bath, and there's something floating in there that, that doesn't fit the time period. What is it? Uh, 
Roddy McDowell? <laughs> I think it's a bar of soap. Okay. I will agree. It's a plastic sponge. Uh. Can't oh. give you that one, Sabini. You gotta earn it yourself. I'll go for Madam for the win. All right, oh. and the championship. Oh. And you'll retain that if you get this. Okay, darling. True or false, madam, Taco Bell recently ran a promotion that gave some customers free gas. <laughs> well, they've been running that one since they opened. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. I think I had it for lunch. Um, no, I think that's false. I disagree. It is true. Circle oh, yeah. gets the square. Tom, we want to thank you for being here. a pleasure for me. Parting gifts. Thank you. Pleasure meeting thank you. you. Sir. Sabina, you are still our champion. You've already won the trip to Singapore. You're going to be playing for a safe full of cash when we come back. Bonus round with our champ right after this. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back. Sabina is still our champion. Time to play the bonus round again. Up to now, we found out a bit about what the stars know. Here, Sabina, is where we find out how much you know about them. All right, Sabina, take a look over here at familiar territory, these nine keys. Now, you've already won the trip, so this time, one of the keys will open this safe in which we've put $10,000. Not bad, we're spending money for Singapore. Singapore. You know the drill, you pick a square, I read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you have won the square. At the end of 30 seconds for every square you've won, we take away a bad key, improving your chances. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. It starts ticking when you pick your first star. Kathy. Was the cable boy's mom in the movie The Cable Guy? I, I agree. Right, next. Mario. Performed a trapeze act in Circus of the Stars. Disagree. Wrong, next. Lonnie. Won the jury award at the U.S. Comedy Arts Festival in Aspen. Agree. Right, next. Don. Made her debut at a Cleveland shopping mall. D agree. Wrong, next. Martin. Once kicked a 50-yard field goal. Agree. Right, next. Justin. Hosts the Spanish language home shopping network. Agree. Wrong, next. Stone. Is afraid of calico kittens and vacuum cleaners. Disagree. <laughs> yeah, right, next. Tilly. We'll be part of a... Oh, out of time. All right, let's get out of here and count the keys. Okay. Calico kittens. <laughs> and over here, you got four right. Let's take away four of the bad ones. One of the remaining five will get you that $10,000. Okay, this is our house at the beach. House at the beach. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right. <laughs> Looks like a blanket and a picnic lunch. Yeah. All right, come here. <laughs> come over here. Let's take a look at which key would have uh, opened it right over here. All right. Well, we'll give you $500 for every correct answer. That means so far as champion, not bad, $26,728. When we come back, we will meet Sabina's new challenger right after this. Stick around. All right, welcome back. Sabina's ready to defend her championship against a new Mr. X. Let's welcome Dennis Ayers to the show. Hey, Dennis, how are you? Hey, Tom, how are you? Good to have you here. Tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm a technician. I'm a technology consultant from Roanoke, Virginia, and in my spare time, I collect and study insects. All right, very good. Ooh. A bug man. Most, uh, most interesting insect would be what? Uh, the camjong, which is uh, it's a praying mantis that's actually bright pink, and it, it disguises itself as a flower. Okay, all right. Wow. So, oh, a camjong. Yep. Oh, very good. All right, well, uh, best two out of three uh, is the way we play these uh, matches here, and as the challenger... You and your Cam John can start. Okay. Uh, I'd like to start with Martin Mull. Martin Mull, all right. <laughs> Martin, as revealed in a poll by eDiets.com, what woman has the best celebrity butt? Well, a lot of celebrities have made perfect asses of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and it has to be a woman, Tom, because I'll tell you, the other day when you dropped your car keys out in the hallway... <laughs> I was not alone in my feelings. Yeah. Well, welcome, to, uh, no. welcome to Queer Eye for the Straight Host. 
I know a lot of that was surgically altered, but it was damn yeah. impressive anyway. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, sitting on more plastic than Mickey Mouse right now, yeah. Uh, the best celebrity, but I guess probably just uh, conventional wisdom would have to go with uh, J-Lo. Okay. Ooh. Um, I will agree. Jennifer Aniston. Oh! I got oh. the best celebrity. Oh. 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 Was right. Right. So, Circle gets that. Sabina? Mm. Kathy Griffin. Kathy oh. Griffin, Kathy. appearing every Wednesday out of the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. Kathy, what are there more of, people in the United States or creatures in your mouth? I hardly knew that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, I don't, I'm going to go with mouth. This sounds like a trick question to me. I'm going with mouth. Okay. I agree. Yeah, there are billions of bacteria in the mouth. Oh. That's right. Oh. Circle. Get that one. Get it. I will go with Madam for the block. Madam. Oh. All right, for the block. Here I'll we go, block Madam. You, Dennis. I'll block you, honey. Who once dressed up as Prince Charming and sang Proud Mary at the Oscars? Oh, God. Let's see. That's, that's a tough one. I, I think it was Tom Jones. I will disagree. It was Rob Lowe, who oh. I bet is happy we're reminding yes, people wow. of that. Uh, Ed gets that. Here's Sabina. I'll go with Lonnie Love. All right, Lonnie Love. Featured on the new DVD called Hot Tamales Live. All women stand up cast. Lonnie, what did Talleyrand say should be, quote, black as the devil, hot as hell, pure as an angel, sweet as love? Talleyrand said that about me. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about um, oil. I disagree. He's talking about coffee. Oh, coffee. Oh. Circle oh. gets that one. <laughs> yeah. I will go with Mario Lopez for the All block. All right, Mario, host of Animal Planet's Pet Star. Mario, Edmund Hillary and Tenzig Norgay were the first to climb Mount Everest. What was Edward Wimper known for climbing first? Let's go with uh, the Empire State Building. Okay. I will disagree. The Matterhorn. Oh. X gets the block there. <laughs> Sabina. I'll go to Stone Cold Steve Austin for the win. All right, and $1,000. As I mentioned, Armageddon at pay-per-view December 14th. Steve, according to the World Book, what is a gorilla's only enemy? It's man because he continues, continues to expand and grow, so basically, man is a gorilla's enemy. I disagree. It is man. Oh. Yes, X gets the square. We get a break. You're still in this one, Dennis. Plot your next move. We'll find out where Dennis is going right after this. Stick around. Hi, I'm... We are back. We are in the midst of our first game in a best two out of three match. And our challenger, Dennis, it's your turn. Joey McIntyre for the win. For the win, his new CD, 809, out early next year. Getting in a meditative state here. Joey, what was the first word? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. <coughs> okay, go ahead. You're ready now. <laughs> Not seven seconds ago, but now you're ready. <laughs> What was the first word Helen Keller was taught by her teacher in sign language? I would say help. I will disagree. Water. Water was oh. the word. X gets the square and the win for $1,000. This next $1,000 game has a secret square. What's in the secret square stash, John? Hitch a ride on a cable car on your trip to San Francisco. You and a guest will spend five nights in a luxurious junior suite at the recently restored Intercontinental Mark Hopkins Hotel, located atop prestigious Knob Hill. And you'll fly JetBlue Airways. It's not the only way to fly, but it should be. Thank you, John. Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. All right, now you know, Dennis, you win this game. You're the new champion. Sabina, you have to win this one and the next one to retain your championship. Dennis, go ahead. Uh, Martin Mull, please. All right, Martin. Thank you. True or false? True or false. If you put a human hair into a mixture of milk, vinegar, and salt water, it will eventually get as thick as a pencil. Okay. You know, it's just nuts enough, isn't it? Yep. I will agree. Yeah, it just get kind of wet. That's about it. False. Oh. That's false. Uh, 
circle. Yes, the square. Sabina. I'll go with Kathy Griffin. Yeah. So, you know, maybe you go to Singapore by way of San Francisco <laughs> to get this. A little visual help here on the screen. Katherine Hepburn was one of two Best Actress mm. Oscar recipients of the year she won for this film. Is this from The Lion in Winter, Mary of Scotland, or The African Queen? The Lion in Winter. I agree. You are going to San Francisco. <laughs> the Lion in Winter, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll go for, with Madam for the block. Madam oh, for the block. Okay, All right, Madam. madam. Block, yeah. has, uh, has a building ever been built on top of quicksand? Um, well, yes, darling. Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> I love the shape of that thing. She, she says so, yes. yes. I will agree. Yes, it has happened. I don't know if in that case, but you need special foundations when it's discovered. <laughs> but the answer we were looking for was yes. X gets the block, Sabina. I'll go with Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here we go. Steve, if you're on skis and you fall backwards, what's the technical term for the impression you've made? That's an invention. Oh, great. No, it's a sits mark. It's a sits mark because the mark came from where you sits. Uh, so well, X, X yes. gets that. Dennis. All right. Joey McIntyre for the win. For the win right. and the championship. Channel, baby, channel. Our Shaolin singer down there getting ready. Paul Revere rode to warn the Redcoats were coming in 1775, Joey. What did he ride to tell New Yorkers in 1773? I would say the, the Boston Tea Party. I will disagree. It was the Boston oh, Tea Party. Oh, Circle oh, gets a block. You're still in this, Sabina. Mario Lopez for the win. All right. Come back from the brink and tie this up. Now, Mario, you know that the Union Jack flag on a ship carries British people. A Jolly Roger flag carries pirates. What kind of people does a Yellow Jack flag have on board? A Yellow Jack flag. Yellow Jack flag. Well... In soccer, Tom, the yellow flag is, is a bad thing. So I'm going to say, like, bad people, sick people. Maybe it has sick All right, people. sick people. I disagree. Sick people, people who are quarantined, carry the yellow jack. X gets that one. Oh, we are out of time. We will have to continue this game on Monday's show. Want to thank Martin and all our stars for a fun week here. Tom Bergeron. We'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. See you then on Hollywood Squares. We'll see you guys too. Take care, everybody. I'm John Machida, the voice of Hollywood Squares, saying goodnight. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Chuck, Monterio is my city. Hollywood Squares is a show with Tom at the helm, don't you know? There are stars everywhere who answer with care to keep the contestants in doubt.